Today we're going to do a quick demonstration on our water dispersants. For the gasoline side, we use an emulsifier which micro encapsulates the water molecules into the solution of the fuel. For the diesel side, we always use a demulsifier which separates the water and the fuel. For the gasoline side, we have dyed the fuel blue and the water pink to see the separation and then the emulsification process. On the diesel fuel side, we left the fuel undyed so you can see the cloudiness of the fuel when there's water present. For the emulsifier, we're going to use one test tube to show the lack of separation of the water and the fuel. On the diesel side, we have two test tubes to show the cloudiness and then the lack of cloudiness after we add our demulsifier. So the first side, we're going to do the emulsification. As you can see, there's nothing in there except fuel. When we add the dyed water, it will want to sink to the bottom, although some is absorbed into the fuel. We're going to mix it up. And you see it still wants to separate. Adding the emulsifier will bring the water into solution by micro encapsulation. No separation. What you saw before was called phase separation. The water and ethanol mixture dropped to the bottom creating an uncombustible mixture and the gasoline at the top has a lower octane rating so it doesn't want to burn as well either or ping and knock and cause pre-detonation. By fully encapsulating the water molecules and letting it pass through the system, the gasoline is even and homogenous. Next we're going to add water to the diesel fuel. There's a few reasons why we use a demulsifier for diesel fuel. The first is it is easily separated by the water fuel separator so you don't run the water through your system. Water reduces lubricity and causes more wear and tear on your parts and fuel system. Another common problem is steam from the high pressure and high temperatures in the fuel system will actually blow off the injector tips on some vehicles. I'm going to shake it up to see that even though it does separate, the water is still in the, suspended in the fuel because it's cloudy. That's a telltale sign. You can also see the pink droplets of the water since we dyed it. Using the demulsifier, it removes the moisture from the system and makes it perfectly crystal clear. So the test tube with the demulsifier that's in the Hotshot Secret products is clear while the untreated test tube is cloudy, which means there is still water suspended in the system. I hope those demonstrations help you understand the difference between demulsification and emulsification. If you have any more questions, please go to our website at hotshotsecret.com or call 1-800-341-6516.